Hi, this is Craig Doerr with RSA Team ANZ. I'm going to show you some other topics about RSA Authentication Manager version 8.1. In this case, I'm going to demonstrate bulk provisioning of on-demand tokens from an administrator perspective. This is bulk assignment of multiple tokens to multiple users, and the admin GUI can do this naturally. Simply visit the Security Console and select Authentication from the drop-down menu. Go to On Demand, click Enable Users. Now I'm able to select the users that I want to enable. There is no limit to the number of users that I could select for this instance, but in this case, I'm going to select three of them. All three of these exist in the backend Active Directory that I'm running, but other identity sources are possible. Simply select your users all at once and click Enable for ODA. The first part of the process is now done but there are certain requirements that must be fulfilled before we complete. In this case, I'm using mobile number to send on-demand tokens to these users. This assumes that you are collecting mobile numbers and storing them as an LDAP attribute in your backend and identity source. If you have a non-standard attribute for this, you can simply map it in the identity source settings page. And the same applies to email. In this case, I'm going to demonstrate mobile numbers. Also, the associated pin you can either have the user visit the included RSA self-service console to set their own PIN, or you can set an initial PIN and have the system do it for you. Also a note about expiration date is you can have these ODAs only limited for a short time. In this case, I'm going to have them set with no expiration. And now, essentially, the process is complete. Because I need to push out these initial pins to users, we provide a facility by which a CSV file is obtained, which contains all of these pins. In future versions of Auth Manager, we will have an automatic email that is sent from the system. But at this stage, just a simple mail merge of this information will suffice. As you can see, the three users are selected. Here are their initial pins and email and other bits of information, including the mobile phone number. The next stage of this process, obviously, is to mail merge this file to their email, corporate email address, or otherwise. If one were to copy this particular PIN and demonstrate that it does work, assuming that you sent it to the user, I can show this PIN ready to be used in action. So what I will first do is visit in another browser an SSL VPN, in this case Juniper, which is connected to my Auth Manager system. And if I log in, both with the username and the assigned PIN, you can see that the system will actually prompt the user to create a PIN during authentication. And in this case, Barry is going to create one for 1234. And now the new PIN is saved, and we're expected to log in using that PIN, of which will prompt a prompting for on-demand token. And in this case, an on-demand token has been sent to my mobile phone, which I will check off screen. And the number revealed in the text message is 3095636. I enter that in, I have a new PIN assigned, and access is granted. This concludes an easy bulk provisioning method for multiple users of on-demand. This is important because on-demand is the most preferred way to step up users to a second layer of authentication when using risk-based auth. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the demonstration.